Panorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson. Are you sometimes confused when you break out the flash, you find yourself in the great outdoors and you're not quite sure how to kill the ambient light? Hi, I'm Brian Peterson and you're watching Adorama TV. I'm here in beautiful Oregon at the Silver Falls State Park with a group of my students. We stopped along the trail and we came upon a really nice green leaf here that's uh, right next to the trail. And uh, we are going to light this leaf up with a strobe and kill the ambient light. That is to suggest that we're going to underexpose severely the natural light exposure and instead just go with a very fast shutter speed, well within the synchronized flash shutter speed range but a shutter speed that's at least three times faster than it should be for a correct exposure, in effect creating a minus three stop underexposure. Why do we want to do that? Because you want to increase the contrast. For example, I'm going to photograph this leaf. I've got a 7300 on here with a B&W close-up filter in front of this lens as well that allows me to focus really close with the 7300 on this leaf. Without benefit of the strobe, I take a picture and as you can clearly see, we've got a green leaf against, not surprising, the ambient exposure of yellow out of focus leaves in the background. Now, what I want to do is kill that yellow leaf exposure. The correct exposure for that, we find ourselves F11 at a 20th of a second. To kill it, I'm going to go to a 200th of a second at F11. And as you clearly see when I do that, take a look at this next photograph. There's nothing there. It's black. Why? Because it's severely underexposed. Now, with benefit of the flash, I'm going to go ahead and put the flash over here. I've adjusted the power, by the way, for the flash at a 8th power that allows me to be F11 at this approximate distance. And I'm having the light come in as if it's back there. So take a look with the benefit of the flash. Take a look at the next photograph. All that black background we once had is now utilized as a contrast against the leaf that we cleaned clearly see that is backlit by the strobe. I'm often asked, well, does it really matter where the strobe is placed? You darn right it does, because we're emphasizing texture when it's backlit. When it's frontlit, take a look at this shot. Clearly, it falls flat. Front lighting is flat lighting. Back lighting emphasizes texture and form. Look at the two side by side, and I think the point is well made. So, to kill ambient, three stop under exposure, direction of the flash, emphasizes form and texture when it's coming in from behind and it falls flat when it's coming in from the front. Something to think about next time you're using your flash and until next time this is Brian Peterson saying you keep shooting. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode and related videos. For all the latest photography, video and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.